Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys the best recording settings for OBS because I see a lot of people asking what, the, what are the best, you know, bitrate settings and all the fancy stuff around it. So I'm going to show you guys uh, the best uh, recording settings. Uh, last week I showed you guys how to record games. So if you missed that video, check out the description. There's a link to the previous video uh, so you can catch up on that. I'm going to run through the settings um, to uh, show you guys the best recording settings for OBS in uh, full HD, 30 or 50 or even 60 FPS, like 30, 50 and maybe 60 FPS. Yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as you can see, we are on the OBS screen just like last time. And to start editing the settings, you just want to go to the top left corner. And you just want to click on settings. And you then want to again click on settings. And then this window pops up. And those are just like the profiles uh, for your streaming or rec recordings. This is nothing going to do with your uh, recordings. So let's go to the second one, which is encoding. Here we start. Okay, so you just want to so you just want to uncheck CBR one for one second. Then you just want to put this one on 10. I think standard is going to be on 8 or something. You just want to put this one on 10 and then just click on use CBR underneath that you just want to uh, type in so I, I see a lot of people using 5,000 I see a lot of people using 8,000 I, I see a lot of people also using 15,000 and again what works best for me is 5,000 so you just want to so you can you can just I have an i7 PC so I have like a pretty strong PC so I'm just using 5,000 because that works best for me. Uh, so you might um, mess around with those settings and see what works best for you. Okay, so once you've put that on 5,000, we're gonna go to the next one, which is says, which says enable CBR padding. You just wanna check that one. And you wanna also check use custom buffer size because otherwise you won't be able to edit this as you can see right here. So you just wanna click on use custom buffer size and you also would, you also want to put this one on 5,000. So maximum bit rate 5,000 and then the buffer size also 5,000. So that's it for the video encoding. And then underneath it, we have the audio encoding. Don't want to mess around with uh, the codec AAC. You just want to leave that on AAC. Uh, the format is just 48 kilohertz, and then the bit rate. You want to put this one to 160. Probably you just want to put any settings you get you can, but at least above 128. So at least 160 and maximum 320. See what works best for you. I'll just put this one on 160, and then the channel you do want to keep this one on stereo. So that's it for the video encoding tab. So we're gonna move one down which says broadcast settings yes i want to save it and this is where you are going to save your recordings so let's say you have file but only because that's for uh, recording um, you just want to click on browse and you just want to check the check the folder where you want to save it i'm just going to put it right right here you can give it a name and then you can just save it of course so then if, once you've done that there's nothing special to see, to see about this we're going to go to the video tab yes i also want to save it okay so as you can see i have one graphics card it's like the amd radeon uh, graphics card but if you have two you can choose which uh which um graphics card you want to use um so you just want to do that and then underneath that we have the custom uh, the, the resolution so you you just want to keep this a 920 1080 if you have that resolution on your monitor the aspect ratio is going to be 69 and you can just choose what kind of i have two monitors but now you can choose what kind of monitor you want to capture but i just use this on custom and then you can do that and then so the resolution downscale i don't think you should be messing around with this because i don't see the reason why you should downscale so this filter is not also editable so just want to leave that as it is and then right here you can choose what kind of uh quality you want to record so if you want to record 30 fps you want to put in 30 uh, if you want to record 50 fps we're not in 50 and if you want to record on 60 fps we're going to put 60 but i have to mention though if you record in 50 fps you also want to render it out in 60 fps so if you record it in 30 fps you don't want to render it out in 50 it doesn't make sense so if you record in 30 fps render in 30 fps record in 50 render in 50 and record in 60 you just want to render in 60 that's basically how simple and how easy it is to memorize. I'm recording in 50, that's what I always do. And now I will know what FPS I will be rendering out in my editing software. So you can keep this on 50, you can choose uh, what you want to stream on. You can use 60, 50 or 30, or it depends on what kind of what, uh, FPS you want. Let's move on to the audio. And as you can see at the top, we have our desktop audio device. And you wanna click on this drop down menu and you just wanna put, you wanna choose real tech uh, audio because as you can see it's Luidsprekers, that's Dutch for speakers. Uh, so we have two options because I have also have a external microphone because you don't want to play back your audio through your microphone so you just want to put in like the real tech high definition audio you want to click on that one 
and then your microphone your auxiliary audio device uh, you want to choose you can you can disable it you can use the default uh, you can use as you can see I have the Logitech C920 uh, webcam that also has a built-in microphone but I'm using my external microphone that's right in front of me and I'm actually talking into that microphone right now that's a Samsung CO1U Pro I'm just gonna click on that one because the microphone of the C920 webcam is not that great at all those are just uh, the proper settings and if you want to like boost your desktop sound you're gonna put this up you can do you can boost your microphone uh, volume by putting this up and you can just um, you know the mic sync off at the milliseconds you want to keep this on zero you can choose whatever you want you can uh, customize it to your own wants and needs this is what I use so okay so moving on to the next tab which is called the hotkeys and this is actually where you can choose like I want to push to talk like push a button to talk uh, or something you can just like start a stream stop the stream you can uh, put in like short keys to stop streaming to start streaming to start recording to stop recording all that kind of stuff and push to talk mute your microphone unmute your microphone all that kind of stuff that's something I don't use but you can use it so let's move on to advanced so you want to copy all the settings that I have right here because those are the ones who work best for me so let's say you just want to enable uh, use multi-thread optimizations you want to put this on normal you want to put this also one underneath you want to put it on 700 the scene buffering time you want to both check disable encoding while previewing allow other modifiers or on hotkeys so you just want to check those and then the video you want to just you see the x264 uh, cpu preset i have this on very fast uh, it depends on how, how strong your computer is you want to put this on ultra fast super fast faster slower medium slower slower it just depends on how strong your system is the encoding profile i have this on high use ecfr i checked as far as those all those settings go you just don't want to mess around with those because they're all standard how they should be that's basically um, the recording settings that you should use and that you can use so, okay, so that's what some of this guys so if you find this really helpful this tutorial uh, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below it's always appreciated so if you want to see more of this OBS tutorials every Tuesday at 12 p.m. PST that's 9 p.m. CET feel free to subscribe down below and I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next Tuesday for a new video so until then I'll see you guys very soon in about uh, four episodes, it's going to be the 22nd of May, and then I find something else. When I started using video editing software, it was like, I have my own Patreon page. You have fucking trolled. Channelpages.com. Kind of nice weather. And I'm a tight with just Alex Halford. You know, yes. it's his channel, so that's a bit of a logic.